So, Senator Roberts, thanks for joining us on AOPA Live this week. Do you My privilege. Do you Thank th you. Do you think your hold on nominee Kurlikowski finally is what pushed CBP to answer your letter to DHS? Well, absolutely. I don't think it was a, a coincidence that it wasn't until I objected to Mr. Uh, Kurlikowski's markup in committee that I actually received answers to my uh, questions for the record and letters in regards to the CBP's allegedly unwarranted stops and searches of GA uh, pilots all throughout the country. Right. Sure. Yeah. So shouldn't a federal agency be more responsive to, to a query from an elected official like yourself? No kidding. Uh, without <laughs> question. Uh, this was an example of what has unfortunately become uh, the norm under this administration a complete lack of respect uh, for the legislative branch of our government. I wish we could end it, and in this case, we did. So there is a federal aviation regulation that pilots are required to show their aviation credentials and their aircraft credentials to a federal or to a law enforcement official, and that is the um, statute that CBP is using to um, stop pilots and claims that they have the constitutional, constitutional and statutory authority to stop and search pilots. Do you believe in that interpretation? Is that correct? Well, I suppose you could make an argument uh, that the CBP possibly has the authority to ask, uh, to seek uh, or to ask a pilot uh, for his um, aircraft uh, credentials. Uh -huh. But certainly this doesn't warrant an actual search of the aircraft itself. Also, why are these pilots being stopped in the first place? What's the reasonable suspicion or the probable cause? Uh, what, what, when does that happen uh, w with regards to these agents that have uh, illegal activity? Uh, you know, what, what causes that? These are the questions I want answered from the CBP and have still not received a sufficient response uh, in my two letters addressed to the uh, Department of Homeland Security. I asked for specific facts uh, and patterns surrounding the multitude of documented stops over the past five years. Mm -hmm. Now, I've received a letter. I've received a spreadsheet detailing the number of stops and where they happened. I still want to know why the pilots were stopped in the first place. This is something I expect uh, Mr. Uh, Kurkulowski to uh, provide. Otherwise, I, listen, I may exercise my right to object to the consideration of his nomination when it comes before the Senate. Do you have any insights into why it is that CBP has ramped up its attention to general aviation aircraft in the, in the last few years? Well, it's hard for me to speculate uh, why that's been the case, why there's been an uptick in stops and searches of general aviation, uh, pardon me, general aviation in recent years. But it's troubling that this increase coincides with the continued, uh, I don't know what to call it, except a swipe at, the, at general aviation in general uh, by this administration. If I hear one more corporate fat cat speech by this president, uh, well, don't get me started on that. Uh, I, and I brought that up to the president when I was invited down to dinner at the White House about it. He said he didn't say that many times. And I said, yes, you have, because I had to respond on the Senate floor and wanted to. One of my missions during my time in the Senate has been to educate my colleagues and the rest of Washington about how important uh, the whole general aviation industry is to Kansas and our national economy mm -hmm. as a whole. These are great jobs. And GA planes have invaluable tools to many of the farmers and business owners all throughout the country, have to travel around the country to visit multiple offices in a very short amount of time. Very rarely is, it, is the fact that some uh, executive jet is taking off for the Bahamas or wherever they want to go, or Hollywood or whatever. People, particularly the president, need to understand this. Well, those are excellent points. Regarding CBP, do you uh, uh, have any ideas of what Congress could do to curtail the CBP actions against pilots? Is legislation an option? Uh, I hope not. Uh, basically, uh, my letters and subsequent hold in the finance, in the finance uh, uh, committee put uh, CBP on notice that this overreach will not go unchecked. Uh, we're going to get other members of the Senate to go along with this and the House. I'm going to continue to monitor this situation 
As you know, we in the legislature control the purse strings, or we should, of the federal agencies. That's not been the case with the Obama administration for, for too long. Uh, so that's possible. It's a possible uh, op or, uh, option uh, to answer some of the questions. Moving forward, I'm going to really commit to using all available tools at my disposal if we do not see a serious change in the way uh, CPG uh, treats our nation's uh, general aviation pilots. All right. Well, Senator, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to share that information with us, and uh, we look forward to your continued support. Yeah, I, you've got that for sure. I'll continue to be your champion, and I'm very happy to do so. Thank right. you.